Drone attack on Russia's Twapse oil refinery, analysts explain strike uniqueness. The defense intelligence of Ukraine, together with the security service of Ukraine, carried out a series of drone strikes on strategic targets in Russia. Analysts say that the strike on the Tuapse oil refinery was indicative and shows that the Russians have no air defense, according to Defense Express. Ukrainian special services struck some facilities in Russia. In particular, the Luti drones repeatedly struck the oil refinery in Tuapse. According to analysts, the video from the scene shows how the drone attack on this important facility with a passport refining capacity of 9 million tons of oil per year is being repelled by a rifle whose single shot can be heard. That is, this facility and the city along with it is not covered by air defense systems at all, the report says. The situation is similar in other regions of the Russian Federation, including Novorossiysk. In some of the videos from Novorossiysk, no air defense systems are seen operating and drones are quietly hitting their targets. Only a few of them show drones trying to shoot down machine guns and other small arms to no avail, the analysts say. The same situation with Sevastopol and its port, which is the base of the Russian Black Sea Fleet and should be covered by fairly powerful air defense systems. But all that is available is small arms, which directly indicates a general void in the air defense means in the rear areas of the Russian Federation, the statement says. Earlier, more than 100 security service of Ukraine and defense intelligence of Ukraine drones attacked the Russian targets in Sevastopol, Tuapsi and Novorossiysk. These targets include a seaport, a refinery, an oil terminal, and an electricity substation. The Ministry of Defense of Russia reported that it shot down 108 Ukrainian drones, 51 of which were over Crimea, 44 over the Krasnodar territory, 6 in the Black Sea, the same number over the Belgorod region and one over the Kursk region. If Russian military data is correct, this is likely the largest number of drones fired into Russian-controlled regions in one night. As a result of the attack, problems with light began in Sevastopol, and the Twops oil refinery also caught fire. As a result of the attack in Crimea, the Sevastopol electrical substation was damaged, said Sevastopol Governor Mikhail Razvoziev. According to him, while repairs are underway, the city will face power shortages and spot blackouts. Therefore, the authorities cancelled classes in schools and secondary specialized educational institutions, and also stopped the work of kindergartens. In addition, the NetBlocks monitoring service has recorded serious problems with the internet in the city. In the Krasnodar territory, the Twops oil refinery was attacked. The regional operational headquarters reported that a fire broke out at the plant, but it was contained. There were no casualties. The Astra Telegram channel, citing local residents, wrote that the port in Novorossiysk was cut off from power. A resident of Novorossiysk said that he heard more than 30 explosions during the night. In the Belgorod region, a drone attacked a car in the village of Oktyabrsky, said the regional governor, Vyacheslav Gladkov. As a result, a woman and a four-year-old child died. The last massive drone strike took place on April 27 and was aimed at the Krasnodar region. Then, according to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the region was attacked by 66 UAVs, and the work of the Slavyansk oil refinery was partially stopped. The latest shelling may indicate an intensification of Ukrainian air attacks on Russian regions and Crimea against the backdrop of Russia's offensive in the Kharkov region.